I'm Andy Hankins from the ground up and we're at Sharondale Farm in Albemarle County talking to mushroom grower Mark Jones. It's March and we're going to be thinking about growing shiitake mushrooms on natural oak logs. Can you tell us how we do this, Mark? Sure, Andy. The way that starts is we need a pure culture of the mushroom and this is a pure culture of shiitake mushroom on a petri plate. And what happens when this is grown through, we transfer it to sterilized organic rye grain like you have in your hand there. And from the rye grain, we transfer it to sterilized sawdust. Now the sawdust is then inoculated or placed into freshly cut oak logs uh, so that the mushroom has something to grow into. What we do is uh, drill holes in the log and then <clears throat> transfer the sawdust into the log and then cover it up with wax so that it won't dry out while it has a chance to grow through the wood. We've drilled the holes in a diamond pattern on the logs so that uh, the, the mycelium, that is the roots of the mushroom, have an opportunity to grow together and mature in the log as I mentioned earlier. We've melted some cheese wax on a hot plate and uh, we just take this uh, this wool dauber here and put a little bit of wax over each one making sure there are no pinholes. Andy, after the logs are inoculated with the sawdust spawn, we bring them out here to the laying yard where we keep them close to the ground but with enough airflow around them so that they don't get a lot of contamination. It takes about six to 12 months for the shiitake species uh, or strains to grow through the log and become mature enough to produce mushrooms. And uh, then we move them from here into the production yard. Well, you don't need much room to get started. Uh, it's good to have dappled sunlight rather than direct sunlight in a well-drained area. Uh, a place, uh, you need a place where you can soak the logs in water that's not chlorinated. If you do have chlorinated water, you can let that evaporate for a day or so. I soak the logs for about 24 hours and that initiates the mushrooms to form. And then I pull them out and I stack them like this or stack them, lean them vertically uh, so that the mushrooms have room to develop and that uh, they don't remain wet. Now we're in your indoor production facility. Can you please tell us about how you grow mushrooms in here? Sure, these are shiitake mushrooms growing on sawdust. And uh, <clears throat> these are ready to harvest. We like to bring the highest quality mushrooms to market and we pick these again with the caps enrolled like this and we package these in boxes and take them to restaurants and to grocery stores in town. For more information about mushroom production, contact your local Cooperative Extension office. This is Andy Hankins from The Ground Up.